You are listening to The Bad Boy Radio Show with Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. This is that real shit, not that fake shit. The only radio show that's not afraid to tell you the truth about the game. This is the Bad Boy Radio Show. Remember, the truth is inside you. Then some other cat came came on and said, um, yo, you know, it's up to a female to to decide if um if a life comes into this world and if she if she didn't wanna, you know, if she you know, a man has no obligation to to, to, to fuck with a kid and if she you know, a woman has a hundred percent of the, the, the decision making responsibilities of if a child comes into the world because they were talking about how in the you know basically like in the court you know what I'm saying right it's it's a woman's decision to have an abortion or not and all that type of shit right mm-hmm. right so they was like you know since it's a woman's decision then you know why is she trying to you know why is she recording this and why is she trying to make the man out to be be this and be that and you know it's a woman's responsibility and it's a woman's choice and this woman's this and this woman's that. And I'm trying to tell these niggas, like, it's the whole process of having a child starts with the man. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. We, we, because they're talking about a woman has 100% control over if a, if a baby's born. But I'm like, a man has 100% control of what he does with his fucking dick. Mm. You know what I'm facts, facts. Now, now I look at, I, you know, my, my body count, my body count is like in the in the twenties, like in the mid twenties. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I never got a bitch pregnant. Right. Right. Now, now that's just for regular niggas. Now mm-hmm. my man, Mister Lucario, like how many bitches would you say you fuck in your life lifetime? Homie? Man, it's probably I, I stopped counting after a hundred, but it's probably like a hundred fifty, hundred sixty at this point. You know? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now. How many how many pregnancy scares have you had, bro? I probably had maybe one, but not not nah, not. I would say none because I knew that the one that it was wasn't wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause, because because okay. because the but shit see, was that's you the know. Point I'm trying to make. Right. That's the point I'm trying to make. You fuck with over over 150 bitches. Right. 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 And I don't see no little Mister Lucario's running around. You know right. What I'm right. Exactly. Exactly. So what does that? The point I'm trying to make to these cats is that you you're trying to put the responsibility, excuse me, of childbirth in the hands of a female mm-hmm. when it's our responsibility as men to put the seed inside of her. B. Right, right, right. Exactly. Why am I putting? Why am I putting a seed? Listen. You can put as much fertilizer in the soil as you want. You can put water in the soil, fertilize the soil, make sure the soil gets sunlight. Mm-hmm. Until you put a fucking seed in the soil, nothing will grow. Right. Okay? Right. So if so if if um if I'm if, if niggas is talking about a a uh a woman has has the a hundred percent responsibility of a life being born and all this type of shit. Son, I remember when I was little, right? Mm. My mom got me a microscope for Christmas. <laughs> okay? She got me a microscope for Christmas. But And this is... Matter of fact, you know what's crazy? <laughs> I had these microscopes for a minute because I didn't start beating off till I was like maybe nine or ten. You understand? Right, right. And I had tried the microscope for like two years before that point. Mm-hmm. And one day I was home alone, and my nigga, I don't know, I don't know if this goes for anybody else, but anytime my parents is like, "Oh, we're gonna go to the store," I'm getting ready. Mm-hmm. You understand? Right. I'm getting ready to, to beat the meat, son. Are you crazy? Right. I'm getting ready. Like <laughs> as soon as I know I'm about to have a little bit of time in the house by myself, mm-hmm. oh, it's a wrap. Mm-hmm. So, but but this time I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put this fucking microscope to you. Right. Like, nigga. <laughs> Did you know that sperm cells are alive? Mm. Did you know that when you look uh, when you look under the fucking microscope, the sperm cells are fucking fluttering and moving, and the tails are moving and they're moving around and bumping into each other and all this shit. Right, huh? right. That, so that means so that means the life begins 
in my nuts, homie. Right, right. <laughs> the life begins in my nuts. Mm. So who actually has the 100% responsibility of bringing life into this world? Right, right, right. Exactly, if, exactly. If, if, the, if, the, if the fucking... It takes two things to make a baby happen. It takes an egg and a sperm, right? Right, right. Eggs don't move. A woman is born with a certain amount of eggs in in her in her system, and then every month she sheds she sheds eggs. You understand? Mm-hmm. Or no, it's every month she sheds the eggs. You understand? Right. That's what, a, that's what a, 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 the period is about. You understand? Right. But those things, in essence, they're not like alive. It's live tissue, but they don't move and do anything. You understand? Mm-hmm. What I'm saying? Right. And and those the tissue that doesn't do anything until my sperm actually swims to the egg. Mm-hmm. You understand? Right, right. So in all actuality, who is a hundred percent responsible for life happening? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm and that's what I'm trying to tell these niggas on the post. And these niggas is like, oh, the women, the women, they fought for the right. <clears throat> to be able to make the decision and this and that, so why the fuck we gotta be responsible after the baby's here and all that? Let me tell y'all niggas something, man. Let me tell y'all, y'all, y'all cats something. You understand? Stop being weak and accept the responsibility of being a fucking man. Mm. You understand? Facts. You have every control of what of what you do with your dick. If you put your dick inside a bitch raw. You are allowing the possibilities that happen after that to happen. Right. Okay? That's true. You're giving, you're giving it a possibility to happen. Okay? Now, right. I know what this is going to say, but, you know, condoms are not 100%. Fuck you. Okay? Because like, <laughs> like he just said, this is a party of fuck over 150 bitches and you right. have no children. Okay? Right. Right. <laughs> no children. And, and the and, thing... I'm a nigga... I'm a nigga, hold on, I'm a nigga that when I fuck, when, when I'm fucking bitches, I don't just fuck, you understand? First of all, I make sure the pussy wet, so me and the bitches doing foreplay, right? So right. there's minimal chance of the condom breaking because the pussy's wet, okay? Mm-hmm. So that's number one. Right. And then on top of that, I periodically, I don't just fuck, I periodically check the fucking condom. Right, right? exactly, exactly. I stop, I pull my dick out, I make sure the condom's intact. And if the shit is looking like it's getting too worn out, I switch and use and put on another fucking condom. Right, right. Exactly. I never, been, I never been so fucking uh uh mystified by pussy that I'm I'm willing to let anything happen just because the pussy quote unquote feel good. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. And I know, and I know the difference between raw pussy and pussy in the condom, son. Weighing out the options between bringing a kid here that's gonna suck out my fucking finances for, for the next eighteen years, right? The, the slightly different feeling of raw pussy to condom pussy. Mm-hmm. It, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't match up, my nigga. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't match up, homie. Y'all niggas. Y'all niggas. Y'all niggas need to need to like. <laughs> I hate to say the fucking cliche, but y'all niggas need to man the fuck up, son. Right. On, on this on this particular issue, that niggas need to man the fuck up and take responsibility for your fucking actions, dog. Mm. And mm. if you know you're not ready for a kid, then that means you are fucking with condoms. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. And then oh, and there's so many other things that you could do because if you're really so crazy about fucking raw, mm. did you know that there are other measures? There's diaphragms. There's fucking birth control. Right. There, there's pills. There's pills and shots that a bitch could take where mm-hmm. she don't. She don't because a couple of the bitches that I fucked in my lifetime, I didn't have to use a condom. You know, right. know what I'm saying? Right. I fucked them raw, but we had a conversation, and the bitch was on this shit called Deprovera. Right. That, that shit keeps the bitch sterile for like six months. Mm-hmm. So and I went to text on that bitch. You right. Know what I'm saying? Right. And on top of that, this is the thing too. Like, because like you're saying, like you know, use condoms. You know what I'm saying? Check the condoms. So I, I remember I did a video on this before. I was like, yo, you know, I, I think it's called how to not get a chick pregnant. I'm like, yo, use condoms. Uh, uh, even pull. I, I even say pull out even when you have a condom on. The thing is, see, and this is this is the thing where you, in the game where you got to be 
the type of man when we talk about responsibility is that it's your responsibility to understand the whole picture, to understand what's really going on in the whole thing. You feel what I'm saying? That's the part that you got. You got to think three steps ahead. You got to think three steps ahead of this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because these niggas is only looking at the fact of after after they done bust this out of her, then it's like, oh, now it's all on you, bitch. Right, and right, then, right. But what about the fact that you just bust inside of her, homie? Right. <laughs> like, niggas is really that weak, that pussy, and that fucking feminine that they don't even see, like, they really don't understand their part in, in, in what's happening. It's like, it's like, it's like how chicks are today where it's like, just because they feel a certain way, they don't feel like they have any responsibility in the situation. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right, right. No, that shit getting me so tight, man. And, and, and this is why, and, and it's funny because this, this, it, this, this within itself, right? You know, we talking about like, you know, getting a chick pregnant and this, this specific topic. This goes even beyond this topic when we're talking about being a, the, the responsibility of a man is that this is why you have so many dudes out here who are MGTOW because the reason why a lot of cats is on that MGTOW shit is because when it comes to dealing with women, and I've said this a million times, when it comes mm-hmm. to dealing with women, you got to know that when you deal with women, there's a management aspect to the shit. There's a leadership right. aspect to the shit. So the stuff you're complaining about when it comes to women really happens because you as a man didn't take responsibility to manage. You as a man didn't take responsibility to lead. So therefore, since you did not, this is the result you came up with that happened. You see what I'm saying? Because the the shit that the MGTOWs and all that shit be complaining about, I'm like, okay, cool. You you talking about, oh, because I I even have dudes leave comments like, oh, these women, you know, if you get married, then they're going to take half your stuff or they're going to be, you know, uh, you're not going to have sex anymore when you get married and then they're going to have an attitude problem and then this is going to happen and they're going to go crazy and then if you take chicks on the dates and blah, blah, blah and all the shit they complaining about, I'm like, my nigga, I'm, I'm not. I'm not really going through all of that. I don't I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I can't relate to you. You you feel what I'm saying? And the reason why I can't relate to you is because when I see all that shit you complaining about, I don't right. fuck with that type of chick. Or I don't even get it to the point where it even gets to the point where she can even become that type of chick around me. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So so I took responsibility to either upgrade a chick's mind, to either manage a chick right, to either lead the girl where she needs to be, you know, to to, to be led, and then so I don't got to deal with those problems. The reason you got to deal with those problems is because you didn't take responsibility as a man in the first place. See, look, this is the thing. Most of the problems you're going to have with women is because you didn't take responsibility as a man. That's that's really all it is. If, you're, if, if a woman is making major decisions in your life, there's something to matter. You understand? Mm. There's mm. something to matter. You need to you need to reevaluate your shit. I mean, shit. If you're comfortable with that shit, then fine. Because hey, maybe you trust the bitch. Maybe she's a good decision maker and all that other shit. But other than that, if you a man that's that's about your shit, you know we gotta stop putting the power in in the hands of these females. And then in the same token, that'll allow us to stop really like hating women and, and right. hating all the shit. Right. Things that they because then after that, once you realize that it's your responsibility, when you approach a bitch, you approach her in a certain type of way where she knows that you're the man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So she, she has to deal with you accordingly. Mm-hmm. And then you start off on the right foot so then you don't have to be on some mixed out dumb shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking blaming women and getting upset because I'm like, niggas, niggas. These fucking midtown niggas, they, they call it female nature, right? Mm, right. So it, within within that within that statement, you you know that these how this is how females are. Right, okay? right. So that means you need to do what you need to do because mm. that's their nature. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm you saying. Know, what what one thing I never hear Midtown talk about is Male nature and what they're supposed to do as men. Mm, you know facts. Facts. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man, real fucking spit. Oh my God, that's like, some like, real like, shit. Like, when, when you think about it in that respect, 
the whole philosophy of MGTOW is like a redundant, it, it sounds like a redundant nigger saying some pussy shit. Like, mm. like, like, you know how a nigga would complain about something and then keep complaining about it? Right. And it's like, nigga, you already said that. Now right. what are you going to do about it? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, they, they call themselves MGTOW, men going their own way. Nigga. Like, like you've been saying for, for like, for, for about, uh, for years now, men should already be going their own way, and bitches should be following behind them. Right, right. So, why, so what's this whole thing about MGTOW? You should have, that's what men do. They go their own fucking way. Right, right, exactly. MGTOW, MGTOW is, MGTOW is redundant, null, and void. It ain't shit. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, if you want to hear the full episode of this bad boy show, make sure you click the link below and join the Patreon because all of the new bad boy shows are going to be on Patreon. All right. So make sure you click that link below, join the Patreon so you will never miss a bad boy show episode.